Hey, hey guys, what's up? Uh, this time I will show you how to do a platform controller to the game. Uh, this will be a three part tutorial. In the first one, I will just show you simply how to do a left to right movement and a jump. In the second part, we will add the is grounded functionality to make sure we can only jump when we, have, we are standing on the ground. And also, we will implement a double or multiple jump feature. And in the third and last part, we will solve a bug. I'm using veloc setting velocities as we are doing when we're moving and jumping. And we will also implement the feature where you can fall through some platforms but not others, just like in the game Terraria. So I hope you will find this useful. Let's get started. Let's jump into Unity. So as you can see here, I have already imported three sprites to represent the ground and the player. They are just images. So you can just make something in Painter, anything. I made mine in Inkscape. Let's start with setting up a ground that our player can stand on. Drag in the ground. And give it a rigid body. Make it static because the ground won't be moving. And give it a collider, a box collider 2D. And then the ground is done. Now I can drag our player inside and start with the basic. Give him a rigid body as well. It should be dynamic because it will be affected by physics. And then a collider. Let's go with the capsule collider 2D for the player. And if you press play, now the player should fall and stand on the ground. Perfect. And on the player, we can also freeze the rotation in the Z axis. Otherwise, the player might fall. And I don't think that's something that we want to happen. Now, we can go ahead and make a player controller script. Let's make a new C sharp script. Name it player controller. And move into it. I am using Visual Studio Code instead of Visual Studio. I have set up another tutorial where I show how you use Visual Studio Code instead if you're interested. Anyway, you can start by deleting these methods. You can re implement them later on, but for now. And we will start with a basic move left and right. So let's start with making a variable private float move speed to determine how fast player will move we can set it to initial value of 3 let's make it a serialized field so we can edit it in the uh, inspector in the update method private void update we will listen for key inputs. In this case, we will listen for the horizontal movement input. So input dot get axis and then the horizontal, which means either A or D left and right or the arrows left and right. Okay. We need to assign the variable from this to a, another variable. So private float move. And then we set move to equal this. And in the fixed update method, private void fixed update, we will add this move uh, value to our velocity. And we do it in the fixed update because this, is, this will affect the physics. So we need a reference to our rigid body to change the velocity and get the variable called rigid body to d. And then in the awake method, we grab the reference. RB equals to get component rigid body like that and then fixed update 
is that the rigid body dot velocity equals to new vector three or two uh, and on the first x axis which is where we want to add the move variable so let's put move here times move speed and then for the y axis we will just put whatever y axis we can uh, y velocity we already have currently have so rb dot velocity dot y like so let's move back to unity and see what happens now if i press left mm, oh we haven't attached the script always forgetting that move the script to the player and then press play if you press left he will move to the left and right to the right all right this moves great and if it's too slow or too fast you can always change it here because of the serialized field i thought think it was a bit too slow so i would change it to five let's try it out yes it feels better now okay let's move on to jumping so to jump we need to listen to another input let's do it in the update we will listen for the space key button and it's defined as jump so we can listen on for input dot get button down and then the button will be called jump oh. and we can see here if you go to your uh, project settings input you will see that there is a key called action called jump and it corresponds to the key space so go back to the script so if we have pressed the jump button we want to jump but we won't be jumping in the update method so in the update method we will only set a variable do jump equal to two we haven't created do jump yet so we will do it up here private pool do jump equals to false and then in the fixed update method we will check if do jump is equal to two if it is we will jump call the method jump and we do this in the fixed update because once again this is to jump is a physics action and all physics actions should be done in fixed update let's create the move uh, jump uh, method private void jump and in the jump method we will do the jumping by adding a force to the rigid body so rigid body dot add force and then it wants a vector 2 so new vector 2 and in the x axis we don't want to add any force but in the y axis we want to add the jumping force so let's make an other variable here let's copy this and call it jump speed and initialize it to perhaps 6 so here we just add jump speed and then we need to add the force mode force mode to d and it should be impulse the default if you're not uh, saying what the force mode is is force and this won't work we need an impulse like so and then we also need to change do jump back to false so okay, let's move into unity and try we start and we move and we jump and we can see that he's jumping and moving exactly as we expected but what happens if we press jump multiple times yes he can jump infinitely and also you can see that if he's on his way down 
while jumping the force will add to his downward force and this is perhaps the uh, mechanics you want in your game but i think we should clear the forces everything he, every time he jumps first and then add the force so let's do that to begin with before he we add the force let's clear our forces that we currently have on our player create this method here private void clear forces and here we take the rigid body dot velocity we set it to new vector 2.0 oh, vector 2.0 and we take the angular velocity as well you probably won't need it but just in case and set it to zero let's see now what happens we can jump again and every time we jump it's like we're jumping from the ground perfect in the next part we will be introducing the is grounded so that we can only jump when he's grounded and we will also implement the double, du double jump functionality okay see you in the next part